Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what happened in the last episode. It has been 10 whole days since I last recorded Danganronpa 2. I had a migraine that lasted around three days. It was awful. I really haven't had the best week this week, so I'm a little bit confused. Yes, I could have looked it up, but I didn't because I'm a professional. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Kyoko finally came clean and... If I remember correctly, she she said something that was really weird. She was like, oh yeah, I went to the beach house and then I fell asleep. Ugh, like, she had such an underreaction to that, if I remember correctly. She was just like, yeah, passed out. And that happens sometimes, I guess, maybe. <laughs> like, you were clearly drugged. You were clearly, cl clearly chloroformed or something along those lines. Like, why aren't you... Why aren't you freaking out about that? But, um, I, I think that's what happened at the end of last episode. I'm not too sure. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Yoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. But what were those words? Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork! And teamwork does make the dream work. Hey! What do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want! Usami! Usami, don't poke the bear! He's gonna bitch slap you into another dimension! Don't do it, girl! <sighs> or he could just take a nap. I'm, I'm alright with that. Whoa, whoa! He's sleeping! Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth? That may be true, but... Even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mahiru's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. Class trial suspended. Well now. Well now, now that the class trial has reached its climax, I would like to present the answer right here, right now! Monokuma, don't! I mean, I think I've got the answer. I think it was, uh, Peko because she was covering for Fihiko because he was planning to do something, but still- Monokuma, don't do that! Hey! Huh? You're gonna spoil who the killer is? Poo-poo-poo! If I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked! feel despair. You can't! That's seriously a big no-no! But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Okay. Um... Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but it somehow feels wrong to me. Is that true? Is that true? I don't know. Yeah, we can save uh, right there. Monami, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. 
To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. She wasn't fucking wonderful. She wasn't wonderful, Usami. The, the Stockholm Syndrome, it's getting to her. She thinks her name is Manami. She thinks Mahiru was wonderful. Oh my, you, you poor rabbit. Impossible, impossible, that's so impossible. There's no way I can believe that. Oh, I can't do anything. How annoying. But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Also, just as a side note, I think this is my favorite song in the game. <laughs> I think this is my favorite track. It's just so peppy and upbeat. I love it. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Oh, I'm on it, Usami. I got you, girl. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No. It was probably the gummy. Mmm. Planting evidence. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. I have thoughts about that, because if... If I went to a beach house, and then I was chloroformed, and I woke up sometime later in a closet. I would not know whether there was a candy on the floor or not. I'm going to take Kyoko at her word that she somehow remembers there wasn't a gummy on the floor, which is... That is incredibly hard to do. Like, how do I explain this? Humans, psychologically, we are programmed to notice what is there. It is a lot harder to notice what isn't there, if you get what I'm saying. So the fact that Hyoku can remember, oh yeah, there wasn't a gummy on the floor. Like, that that's real weird, but I'm going to accept it that like, oh yeah, she can remember that. But it, if that was me, I, I wouldn't care about whether there was a gummy on the floor. I'd be like, what the hell happened to me? Why am I in a closet? Why was I drugged? What the fuck is going on? Like, I'd just be panicking. I wouldn't be like, are there gummies on the floor? I'm, I'm hungry, I need a snack, nom nom nom. Just as I thought. Mm. Just as you thought? Because if, if the gummy was, it wasn't there when Hyoko woke up, that means it was placed. That means the killer was still there. If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Or just eaten it. Which means... The gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? No, they never left. They were still there while you were in the building. They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! There are plenty of places to hide. I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Would you expect them to stand in the corner looking conspicuous? No, they hid. They hid themselves somewhere. Then does that mean the killer came back? Nope. Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? No. No. I'd... What? What is this? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. I j Please. I've said this before. I don't play this for the mini games. I play this for the problem solving. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the logic dive. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. Oh no, I don't like the word course. I don't... That implies racing and shit. I'm awful at Mario Kart. I, I do not like Mario Kart. I am terrible at it. 
You can move sideways with the mouse key and accelerate with the control key. Okay, it's mouse and control. Press the right mouse to break and the left mouse to jump. Okay, right, left, right, left. Okay. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. What was control again? Control was speed up, there we go. Oh no, I hate these things. So make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the core. I'm a try, I'm a try game. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Oh God. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into two different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice to you. So it was... Left was jump, right was break, control was accelerate. If you press the escape key during the logic dive, you can review the controls. I never do, though. I always forget. Well then, good luck and have fun. Uh, she's right, this might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hiyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Hmm. Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. All right, I'm going to do it. Okay, logic dive. What are we looking at? Oh. Okay, okay, and then... Okay, yeah, that's the jump. And that's break. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Let's speed up a wee bit. Woo, Nelly. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, just... I'm, I'm so sorry. This is... To anyone who's really good at these these games, you're going to be like, oh my god, this girl. Why why is she like this? I just, this is not my forte. This is not my forte in the slightest. Okay. Oh, is that a speed up? I don't, I don't like the look of that. Question one. When did the killer arrive? Uh, before. Okay, blue for before, yeah. Okay, yep. Yep, that was right. Okay, yep, come on. And slow down, because I don't, I don't like the gaps. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, Nelly. Just, just keep calm, Cluster. Keep calm and focus. That's right, further on. Question two. When did the killer leave? Yeah, after, after Hiyoko left. Speed up a wee bit. To the red. And yep, that was right. Okay. Okay, and now we've got walls. Question three. Where was the killer hiding? Yeah, it would have, it would have been the beach house. They never left. There we go. And there we go. Okay, yeah. Good stuff. It's all coming together. I had to click. I was like, Gabe, are you doing anything? Do you think the killer might have been hiding? Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad, but still, I, I'm, I'm not coordinated. I'm not coordinated in the slightest, and I panic. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How 
disappointing. Bitch, think it through. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Do I have to explain in another language that you should use your eyes? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Yeah, because she didn't have to, you know, like, oh, please, pity me, pity me. Like, oh, I'm innocent. Okay, you, you, you think I'm innocent? Okay, fuck the lot of you. It's Hiyoko, what do you expect? No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hiyoko. Where she woke up. That'd be the only place you could hide, because why would you bother checking that? What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good! Uh, Hiyoko, just, just keep your mouth closed and listen, and you'll understand. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer, by any means. The place where the killer was hiding. The place where Hiyoko hasn't looked is... Yeah, it had to be the closet. Right there. Here! The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! And that's why you never would have thought to check there. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Then you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? I remember... Hajime said that the closet was really untidy. There were surfboards out of their cases and shit. That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. I... I think... I think I know where. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance... I can only think of one place. That's right, the place where the killing where the killer was hiding inside the closet was. Yeah, it had to be inside one of the cases. It was us there. Here. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Yeah, just empty one of them out, put the surfboard on a lower shelf. Sure, it'll look messy, but that's the only place you could hide. You couldn't hide behind the uh. Behind the fucking, um, I've got swimsuits in my head. No, the, uh, the, the things, wetsuits. There we go. You couldn't have hidden behind the wetsuits because Hyoko would have seen your legs. You couldn't have hidden on the other shelf because it was a load of tat. The only place would be inside a surfboard case. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? Yeah, you wouldn't have gone looking there. But the shelf it was on, it was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. Mm. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Yep. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. I'm inclined to agree. Then the killer was close to me during that time? I'd... I'm, I'm waiting for Hiyoko to play the victim, to be honest. Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. She's not even tied up! She's not even tied up! Oh my god, Hiyoko! Hiyoko! God damn. To be fair... I will, I will say, Hiyoko does have some reason to feel like she is a victim in this. She did get chloroformed, but she's lied continuously. She's thrown tantrums. She's called people stupid because she doesn't want to listen to evidence. Like, and after all of that, like I said, it, it's especially the fact that like, oh, Mahiru was my friend. She was my friend. I'm going to fucking lie about shit and make her... You know, figuring out what happened to her harder. Because fuck her, I'm only interested in myself. I just... She's selfish, ultimately. She's been treated like a child her entire life. And as such, she has a child's selfish nature. So it... Oh, I... This, this might come as a surprise. I actually kind of like Kyoko. 
I'm saying all of this shit not because I hate her, because I'm like, oh, fuck her, I want her to die next. Yeah, I want to smash her stupid fucking face in. No, that was Mahiru. Mahiru is the only character in the game I feel that way about. All the other characters, kind of barring Kazuichi and Nekomaru, I actually quite like. Or at the very least feel neutral towards. With Hiyoko, I feel very sympathetic towards her as a former lolly to a current lolly. I feel a lot of sympathy and I think she could be a, a decent person if, you know, she was confronted about her behaviour. It's the fact that no one does. No one confronts her about anything, so that's why I have a tendency of going hard on her. That doesn't mean I hate her. I kind of like her, but... Yeah, as I was saying, I am fully expecting her to, like, fully go, Oh, I'm the victim in all of this. Me, me, me. I, I, I. Self, self, self. I'm gonna ignore the fact that I was making Mahiru's trial more difficult. My supposed best friend. Mm-hmm. Ugh. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Pardon? Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? I don't get that either. <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Hmm. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Mm. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. All right. If you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! A Akane. I, I do get why the students are really infuriated by Nagito. I take him at face value. I trust my gut. I don't think he's all that dangerous as long as someone else doesn't take him up on his plan. Um, on his offer, rather. Um, I, I do get why the students are suspicious of him. He's saying shit that is crazy. But he's making a good point. Akane! Akane, stop thinking with your fists! <laughs> oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Akane! Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I have no idea who the hell Prince Shotoku is. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Mm. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? The killer can't be. The, the three are Fuyuhiko, Hiyoko, and Kazuichi. Pekko was there, but obviously she's the killer, so... Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. <laughs> you don't sound very articulate. Come on, Monokuma, you've got to answer. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Hey, it might not be supposed to be used for that, but we can use it for that. You never said we couldn't. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? 
Mm -hmm. You've been caught out by your own rules, Monokuma. Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Because we only saw two people going to the beach house. We saw Fuyuhiko leaving, and that kind of implies that he was a witness to it. Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent! It's not a tangent. It's a very valid line of thought. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? Right. And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. Well, rather planting evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It has. Did you check the bins? It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Now then. I shall explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. Ooh, hello. If you hold down the left mouse button, the shape of the reticle will change. Right, left, okay. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you will be able to memorize it. Ah, okay. This memorized phrase can only be fired once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change to a different truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or mistake in your available truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. When's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to trust your keen wits, won't you? By the way, you will not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Please remember that it is only effective when refuting points. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Oh, so we only have a shower room. Got it. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and... Whoosh, as someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can Nekomaru. declare it would definitely clog the toilet! Nekomaru, goddamn. Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Okay. If I use that person's opinion, I might be able to break through the contradiction. I think we need to... We need to grab Chiaki's and hit Tsuyuhiko's with it. What did the killer do with the blood on the body? I can't remember what they were saying specifically, but that's Maybe what they make simply sense. washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Mm. They didn't have to use the shower. Yeah, okay. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they use something other than the shower... Yep. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? And Hiyoko's off. They cut She's it up and And again, As someone we get who this, flushes their I... shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet! God damn it, man. Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. 
Yep, yep. I know what do. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Okay, it's coming up. So washing it off would have been... No, that's wrong! Boom! If they just needed to wash off the blood, they didn't necessarily have to use the shower. And I am gonna bring today's episode to a close right here. In the next one, we discuss all of those water bottles that we found in the Beach House's trash can. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.